and trust in God that we are loved. Here, there does not need to be any jockeying for position. There does not need to be any worrying about favoritism. There does not need to be any jealousy. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 1 and 2 Follow God's example therefore as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Once we come to accept that we are dearly loved children and walk in the way of love we will need to and we will come to act like dearly loved children not selfish or spoiled but sharing and giving knowing that our Heavenly Father is watching over guiding and directing us Galatians chapter 1 verses 3 to 5 grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from the present evil age according to the will of God, our God and Father to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Grace and peace to us to us from God. Discernment to beware of those who are fake brothers and sisters when we use what God has given us we know that we can reach out in confidence as friends and as brothers and sisters to other members of the body of Christ
Romans 8, 28 to 30. This is out of the King James Version. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the call according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Brethren, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. We are them. We are brought into relationship with God our Father through his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is willing to consider us his brothers and sisters. We are considered part of his family by him and also through him. We are called, justified, and glorified because of him. And all this is to bring us into relationship with him, to make all of us part of his family. Children of God, we are his family. We are in relationship through his work on the cross. His death was payment in full for our adoption into his family. For anyone that's ever adopted a child, you know that there are costs and costs and costs involved. There was a cost involved in our being adopted into the family of God, and the price that was paid was his death on the cross for us. That is how and why we are now in relationship with him. That is why and how we are a part of his family. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 5 through 7. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time. And for this purpose, I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. Our redemption was secured as he paid our adoption price so that we could live being now members of his family. Titus chapter 2 verses 7 through 15. In everything... Set then an example by doing what is good. In your teaching show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned, so that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them and not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our Savior attractive. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age 
while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. These, then, are the things you should teach. Encourage and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. Do not close your ears or your heart to this teaching, children of God. Realize your position as a family member. Okay. Realize you are a loved, chosen, wanted member of the family of God. You are part of the family of Jesus Christ who loved you and wanted you to be in his family. In the Psalms, David looked a lot at the relationship between he and God. He poured out his heart. He rejoiced. I want to read Psalm 91 to you. I want you to get a feel here and now for the relationship that David had with God and understand that we can have this relationship with God. He wants to have this relationship with us. He wants us to be close to and with Him. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yavah, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it Hello? will not come near you. You will only observe Hello? with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. How are you doing? If you say, Yavah is my refuge, doing? and you uh, make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all their ways, in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says Yavah. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. King David had a relationship with God Almighty. He messed up. He made some bad mistakes. He made some bad decisions. He made some awful, awful things happen. Okay? And he ended up paying the price for it. The fact is, we have forgiveness and relationship in Jesus Christ. We have restoration and reconciliation in Christ. Just as the father, in the parable of the prodigal son, just as the father ran to his son and welcomed him back into the family and gave him complete, total restoration, so our God wants us in his family. As the message of this ministry is, has been, and will be, God loves you and God wants you back. I am going to close with this scripture. And I have it out of the Amplified for you this evening because I want to give you the fullest understanding that